The city of Jacksonville Beach confirms a cybersecurity event was the cause of its systems issues we first told you about yesterday. This is the second day in a row the city has been affected. Zach Wilcox is on your side live from Jacksonville Beach City Hall. So Zach, city officials had a meeting about all this just a couple hours ago. Yeah, Jessica, and we just got an update a couple of minutes ago, which is when we learned about that cybersecurity issue. We don't know exactly what that means at this point. We also don't know exactly when things will be totally back to normal, but I will tell you about what I observed today. Fortunately, City Hall is back open, but as you can see, you got the traffic cone here where the drive through bill pay is at. Lots of folks pulling up that traffic cone, a little confused, and then they look in the window, and you can see the drive up close sign. So bill pay going on inside. Lots of folks have had to head in there. They've come out with the handwritten receipts, so a little bit old school school here in Jacksonville Beach right now, but all the folks I talked to today were pretty patient with that. Didn't inconvenience them too much. Combat Carandos hopped on his motorcycle to swing by City Hall to pay a bill Monday, only to find out he was going to have to wait a day. I tried to uh, come by here and it was closed. Uh, and I thought, man, this is, you know, it's, I thought it was kind of an inconvenience. When he came back a day later, he found the drive through for bill paying was shut down again. Fortunately, he was able to pay inside where he was in and out in just a few minutes. They were having problems with stuff, but uh, they're working it out and they're, and they're moving people right through. According to city officials, online bill pay at beachesenergyservices.com is still up and running. Carandos wasn't the only one whose plans were put on hold because of a citywide computer issue in Jacksonville Beach. The city golf and tennis clubs had to shut down Monday as well. The city's communications director says the computer issues impacted payment systems at both venues. In the range was shut down and there was nobody here and apparently there were some computer problems and that you couldn't get range balls. Frank Ashton was able to come back out a day later to get some strokes in, although the computers were still shut down inside with signs directing golfers to temporary check-in at the bar area. Meanwhile, right next door to the Jacksonville Beach Police Department, a sign read, quote, computers are down, unable to retrieve any police reports. Another sign told guests the call system was down. However, city officials say 911 and emergency services are still working. Waste services and public works are also still operating as normal. The city's communications manager said that at this time there are no indications that personal sensitive data has been compromised. Ashton didn't let the computer issues slow him down too much. After all, it was great golfing weather. People are out of the range. Obviously, they're hitting balls, so they must have worked out part of it. So I'm just going to get some range balls and hit some balls. Right, so good to see that the golf course is open again, City Hall open again here as well, and the tennis courts, but we don't know when exactly things will be totally back to normal. We do know that they told uh, the police department right away about the situation. They have an investigation ongoing right now, and that they will continue to give us updates as they have them. So let's review here, while we don't know what exactly tomorrow will look like, what some of the biggest things are, three of the biggest impacts here, what's affected, what's not affected. Number one, we do know that drive through bill pay at City Hall is impacted, some of the functions at City Hall also still going to be impacted tomorrow, but the City Hall will be open. Jacksonville Beach City staff emails totally down right now. If you sent an email to a city staffer, you're probably not going to be getting a response anytime soon. And we also learned today that the Jacksonville Beach Police Department's record department is having some impacts here with being able to access police reports. But let's talk about some of the things that aren't impacted. Number one, and the biggest thing here, emergency services. You can still call 911 if you have an emergency, and they'll get someone to you. Waste services also not impacted, so you can expect your trash pickup as usual. And online bill pay is still operational at this point. So hopefully we'll have some more updates as to what exactly the cybersecurity issue is and how long this investigation is going to take and when things will be totally back to normal. But for now, we'll wrap it up here in Jacksonville Beach. Zach Wilcox, First Coast News.